better than it is. Caught my first tag fish. <laughs> Everybody, I'm at the water. Roads right up there, beetle ponds right down here. I can see some water. You probably can't see it, uh, but what I'm gonna tell you guys is, I'm getting a lot older, and let me tell you something. I hate to see guys drag. It's a pet peeve of mine. It's dragging canoes and kayaks. I just can't stand it. But there is times when it's kind of okay to drag them, and most time I'm talking about is. They're dragging it up the boat ramp, a gravel boat ramp or cement boat ramp, or gravel parking lot. I'm gonna be dragging mine right now. It's on pine straw and a little bit of dirt. There's no rocks, no nothing. So it's gonna be very minimal wear, but I am gonna drag it. This is one of the few places I do drag it. But anyway, let's get busy. Let's catch some fish. And remember, take care of your boats. Alright guys, here's my beaver pond. It was about this high. Now it's dropped down. See there's still some water in it. It's shallow right here, but we're gonna get busy. Hopefully we're gonna catch some nice fish. It gets deeper down towards the dam, but we're gonna try up here and then maybe we'll go into deeper water. Stay tuned. I'm gonna start off with a frog. Um, I've got a Senko to throw. If I see some likely looking spots for that or I miss a fish on a frog, I'll throw the Senko right back. And I've got a gold neon trout magnet tied on for pan fish. Um, so now let's get busy and see if we can catch a big old fish out of here. Water's still clear as it can be. Just, I'm gonna stop fish this. There's the frog. I think that's a live target. Okay guys, I see lots of little brim and um, what's some other fish? I can't think of it, I'll put it on the screen. I know there's a deeper hole up here. I see lots of brim, just so shallow right here. See, it used to be to the top of these stumps. There want some fish. Let's see what we can do right here. It's still shallow, but it's a red winged blackbird. Yeah, I'm gonna to go to the deeper end. There's a few holes back there where I started. I just gotta hope there's still a deeper hole up here. It was like a gator hole, it was a deep rest of it. It was like a foot coming into it, a foot coming out of it. And it was about 10 foot deep. They want a decent fish. So if it's still there, it ought to be about eight foot deep. Okay, 
guys, this little channel right here is about three foot deep. Used to be about five foot deep. Just clear water. I've only seen one big bowfin or bass. It's definitely one of them. This is that deep hole, I think. I think. Or it might be up there. Well, what we're going to do is so we don't mess up the hole. I'm going to throw a Senko for it. Be up there. Pretty much current coming through here. All right, guys, this is that deep hole. I'm going to throw the sink up first. Got him. Got him. Bass, yes. Guys, guys, first fish of the day, nice little bass on a pink Senko, not big, but we'll take them. He threw my Senko off in the water, it's over there, so I'm going to put another one on instead of getting closer to the hole and messing it up. Well, let's get him back in the water. He gone. Let's put another Senko on. This hole right here used to be loaded with... Uh, Panfish, crappie, bass, a few bowfin. Alright, we got another one on. Oh, as soon as it hit. As soon as it hit. Oh, hey, come off. You see that? As soon as it hit. There's one. Another little bass and my sink have come off. Another little bass. He's not big as nothing, is he? Just gonna get that sink up back. Got that sink up back. Ah, it's ruined. I like Senko's back, guys, but give me some ideas on uh, ones that are tougher. I might go through the few I got right here. They're just not that tough. And I like hooking them. I don't like the O-ring, so. All right, now, guys, we're going to try the trout magnet. There we go. There we go. Trout magnet. Got a brim. Got a thunderstorm coming up. Mm.
I don't get it. There's one of the fish. What do they call this thing? It's not a spot of some fish. Maybe it is. I'll post it up. I can't remember what these things are called. I guess I'm getting old. Nice little fish. Get him back. That gold's not doing good as pink did last time here. Oh, that's a better fish. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. What we got? Oh, nice bass. Nice bass on a trout magnet. Two pound line. I mean, he's not a pound probably. He's caught. Oh. Nice bass right there. Look at the colors on that bass. Neon trout magnet. Nice bass. Let's get him back in the water. There, guys. Woo. Fun fishing right there. Guys, there it is. Tr trout magnet gold. I got back a little bit off the hole because I want to stand up. This water, this bottom's firm right here. So I'm going to get back off this hole. Let's see. Getting hits on every cast. There we go, that's a nice rim. Oh, look at that, that's a nice one. Right there, just about the farthest west you find this fish. We're in the eastern Piedmont of North Carolina, but this fish is found in the coastal plain of North Carolina. Um, Nice fish. Look at that fish. I might take an Instagram photo. Well, I'll wait till I get some better one, probably. Okay, guys, we've switched up to the good old pink. summertime in North Carolina. Ooh, that was a big lightning strike. Well, there's the first crappie of the day. Little black crabby. Yellow perch. Look at that, guys. Yellow perch. First yellow perch today. So we've caught brim, bass, spotted sunfish, and yellow perch. Look at the colors on him. The colors on that fish. Being this swamp water. Nice. I got a little hole right here. Yep, there we go. Look at that. That's five species. That's a warmouth. So I've caught five species today. Hmm. 
Guys, I'm going right over that hole now. I just fished. The bite died. So I went upstream a little bit. I went upstream a little bit to see if there was uh, any more good fishable water. This hole is about five foot deep right now. So it might have been only seven foot deep last time I fished it because the pond's down because the dam got busted. But there's a huge thunderstorm coming back up. I may have to take shelter. It's what I just do not like about summer fishing in the south, eastern North Carolina, down through Florida, over in, you know, thunderstorms that come up any hot day. Just, you know, the mornings are usually okay. Afternoons, you can never tell. Big thunderstorm pop up like that. But that's what we got behind us. So I'm going to go down, find some deeper holes down near the Beaver Dam. It opens up down there some. I'll probably start throwing a spinner bait down there, so stay tuned. Beautiful water though, just crystal clear water. Looks just like a stream to clear in Florida. Be sure, guys. Fish on, big bowfin, big bowfin, let me see where he's hooked. Not a big one, but okay, I got it out. Okay, I got it out. Little bow family, he's fun. He put up a good fight to begin with. We're gonna get him back in the water. Black spinner bait. Oh, that's a fish. There he is. What I got? A little bass. Had to be a little bass. That jerked him out of the water. Huh. Little pocket right there. There he is. Ah. Little bass. Little bass on Cinco. Little bass, I'll let him go. Boy, them sinkers tear up easy. Ooh, that's a hit. There you go. Two hits. Storm's coming up. There he is. There he is. Got him with the Cinco. Don't lose this one. Fell off in the boot. There he is. There he is. Got him with the Cinco. Don't lose this one. Fell off in the boot. I've lost several today, but that guy hit a whopper plobber and I came back and got him with the Cinco. So I always carry a boat, you know, throwback board. Big bluefin. 
Oh, he's hooked. Dude. He's Got him. Woo! Got him. Whopper plopper. Good boo fan. He is wrapped up. Okay, good. He's loose. There you go, guys. There's a good bow fin on the whopper plobber. He's probably four pounds. Whoo! I missed some big fish today. That's a good one right there, whopper plobber. Um, guys, check out my bow fin videos, a playlist. It's right there. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.